Hi, and welcome to Shabalot. It's Janice. Today we'll be painting a vintage frame and giving it a shabby chic look. And I'm also going to be telling a story about going back to college and some of my most famous mishaps. So I went back to school, I went back to a community college, and I wanted to take some art classes. So I took creative writing, which I did really well at, and photography, which I didn't do really well at. This picture is of my fiance when he was a baby. So it just goes to show the age of this frame. <laughs> this was framed in Framingham, Massachusetts when he was a baby. So of course here I am in my 40s <laughs> sitting in a classroom with, you know, college kids. My professor, I thought I would impress him being older and everything, and um, I didn't, I didn't impress him. He did like this one student, and he loved his work. He loved this boy's work so much that he wore white gloves whenever he held his photos. Students, I don't know, I can't speak for them. They probably didn't care at all. But here I am, like, why, 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 why are you not holding mine with the white gloves? <laughs> just a negative sheet I think it was called so all of your photos from the film this is the olden days was film would be on this sheet and he would look at all of your photos with this little glass thing like this and he's looking he's looking he stops at one of my photos That's almost amorphorific. I don't know the word. It's something to do with when an inanimate object looks human. So I was taking pictures of trees and the tree stump, let's just say, took on its own human form. I did not know that. He saw it first. series on grapevines and I saw so many faces and so many human um, forms and shapes in those grapevines. I snapped them, I printed them in the dark room, and I displayed them to my class. Well, they didn't get it. <laughs> Nobody got it. 
And my professor didn't get it either. And he's the one that told me that there was an actual word for this. door to leave to get to my car and the door was locked from the inside. <laughs> it did call security and they, they did let me out. toxic chemicals that you use to develop your film. You would take all your trays and you would take your photo and you would dip it through this chemical and through that chemical and then through that chemical. And when we left at the end, we had to take those chemicals and pour them into this, these big um, barrels. And there was a funnel and you take the chemicals and you, and you pick up that tray and you pour it into the big funnel and then the toxic chemicals would go down into this big huge barrel. Fine, no problem. to do all of the cleanup in the dark room. Take, I took the trays and I went over to the barrel. I was pouring one of the trays into this barrel of chemicals and the chemicals just spewed out of this barrel. I don't remember how that happened. I must have called the security guard. That security guard probably was like, get this old lady out of here. <laughs> say I mastered the dark room, but I was in it. forget the funny things that happened during that class. Thank you. 
all of those crazy things that happened in the first class, that's sticking with me, so I must need something. Hi, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the way the frame came out. I used Debbie's Design Diary clay-based paints. To purchase these products, you can go to shavalot.com. And if you liked today's video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and leave any comments below. Thank you and have a great day.